Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and we are back with another monthly favorites video. So if you guys are new here, I actually do this video every single month with all the products that I've tried for an entire month. I pick out my favorites and it makes it onto this video pretty much. The thing about this month is that there are so many products, so I'm going to try to get through them as much as possible. Before I actually go into the products, I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys haven't already seen it on my Instagram because I've been been so annoying about it but we are launching we as in me and my best friend are launching a podcast together and it is going live tomorrow or at least i'm filming this and tomorrow is the launch date but we are going live tomorrow, February 1st, 12 p.m. EST, and our podcast is called Sisters You've Never Had. Please check us out. We are so excited. We released three episodes for you guys to binge. We worked super hard on this podcast, and I'm just so excited for you guys to listen. If you want to catch some more of this personality, you know what I mean? You can hear me on the podcast. For today's video, we have our usual categories, jewelry, hair, beauty, and I also have some home favorites. Since there are so so many products, I'm just gonna get straight into the video. I'm actually gonna start with jewelry as usual. So this month's two favorite Majuri products and I actually also have another product that is a small business jewelry brand. I'm gonna start with the Majuri ones. The first one is the Charlotte ring. This is what the ring looks like. It's this one right here. I think I accidentally ordered the gold Vermeil one by accident. I actually meant to order the solid gold one because the solid gold one is a little bit thinner. Once again, I don't wanna be able to take it off every single day. I think I might have ordered this by accident so I might switch to the solid gold one or just buy another one. I wanted a thicker band for something that I'm not going to take off so there's that. The second Majuri product are these earring threaders. I've already been talking about it all over Instagram but basically this is what it looks like. The threader is just this little thing and it goes through your ear. You can wear it I feel like dangling halfway like this or you can wear it just fully dangling like this. This is solid gold so I haven't taken it off. However, I do want to mention that if you are planning to sleep with it or shower with it like I do, make sure it's at least always like tugged all the way to the end. If it is halfway, the chances of it falling out is actually quite high because the first night that I slept with it, I think I had it dangling halfway as the look of the day. And then while I was sleeping, it fell out and it was on my pillow, which is fine. But the next morning I was freaking out because I couldn't find it. So if you guys are going to wear it 24 seven, the way that I do, make sure that it is like linked all the way to the end so that the stud is showing. You can actually thread it through multiple ear lobes, not lobes, multiple ear holes. I just wanted to avoid saying holes, you know what I'm saying? I put it through the first one and then I also put it through my second hole and then it's now just kind of like dangling here. You can literally do this in any type of combination. You can start at the back one and then let it dangle forward. I started with the first one and then let it dangle back. If you have three, you can like literally thread it through all these different ear holes if you want. And I think that's super cool because first of all, I think it makes it a little bit more sturdy. It looks super cute and fashionable like that. And also because if you have multiple ear holes, maybe you can can use it kind of as like a stopper so your holes don't close up. I thought that was pretty neat and I just absolutely love these as my new earrings. So I actually discovered this by accident. I took off this one and I was like, hmm, I think I might do that for this year later on as well, but I kept it on just for the purpose of showing you guys. Okay, so the next one that I wanted to show you is this ring. So one of my followers on Instagram actually sent it to me and it's this ring right here and it's her small business. So I will leave her link down below, but it's called My Glitz Room and it's just just super cute and I've just been wearing it as my statement piece on my index finger every day. I've been taking off both the Charlotte ring and also this one and I just wear it in the morning of. I do not wear it 24 seven, but they're pretty nice statement pieces. This is kind of what is on my hand right now. And I think I'm gonna do a whole ring video and how I've been kind of like stacking my rings and stuff. If you guys want to see that video, make sure you turn on the notification button and make sure you are subscribed because that video is coming up. So the next 
next category, I'm gonna go into hair and I have tried two new hair products from Verve this month and it is their ghost shampoo and ghost conditioner. So this is what it looks like and honestly, this is probably one of their most staple shampoos and conditioners. So all the shampoos and conditioners I've tried from them so far weren't even, I guess, like part of their basic or common purchases. I feel like this is actually their most common shampoo and conditioner purchase. What I really like about this shampoo and conditioner is I think that it's very, very versatile, especially compared to the other shampoos and conditioners that I've tried that are for very specific hair types. I think this is generally made for everyone. And especially if you have thin or very silky straight hair, because a lot of the shampoos and conditioners I've tried so far from them have been, you know, for hydration because I bleached my hair or for curly because I have natural waves. This one, especially if you have the classic straight, silky Asian hair, or you don't have to be Asian, but I'm just saying that hair type because that was the hair type that I always wanted when I was growing up. This is going to be for you. I also heard reviews from straight hair people and they always say that this one is a lot better for their hair texture than some of the other ones that they've tried. Now going on to beauty. So the very first product I'm gonna start with is the Amor Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. And I actually did a giveaway with them not too long ago for this product. And honestly, as you guys can see, I am more than halfway done this product and I only have great things to say about it. So it is a little bit pricey. So it's really up to you if you want to spend it. But let me kind of explain how to use the product. This is an essence, so you want to use it after toning. So after cleansing and after toning, the purpose of this one, it has a lot of green tea extract. There are a lot of great things that green tea extract does for your face, but more particularly, a lot of people, including myself, after using this product, have noticed more minimalized pores, a little bit more brightening, and just more even texture. This one, I've been really loving as an essence, especially on top of my toner. If you guys want, give this one a try, even though it is a little bit pricey, but you know, skincare is expensive, y'all. So the next product is the Caudalie Premier Crew Serum. This is what the serum looks like. For serums, I'm very, very picky on the texture because I've tried some kind of weird serums. This is one of the textures that I actually prefer. It is a little bit tacky. I find that it really absorbs the next step, which is like moisturizer and cream really, really well. The reason why I really like the Caudalie Premier Crew crew line is because it has a very holistic, well-rounded collection of properties, including anti-aging. And you guys, I have really, really ramped up the anti-aging game because I'm starting to see like a little bit of wrinkles and I swear to you guys, I'm getting Botox. Like I literally think I'm gonna get Botox, not to be extreme, but like tomorrow. I don't know, but it's coming, okay? Don't be surprised if in the next video, I'm like, for the next favorites, it's Botox because it's coming. There's also preventative Botox as well. I think that if I start early, then I might even prevent having wrinkles later on. I don't know, just let me know. Let me know what you think of this whole thing, but I think I'm gonna get it probably sometime soon. So the next product that I wanted to show you guys is the Lancome Idol Mascara. So this is what it looks like. I actually have been really loving this mascara. First of all, the applicator is a little bit curvy, so it's been very good for my eyelashes. I feel like it also elongates it very well. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's not waterproof, which I wish it was. I just always wish that mascaras are waterproof, but this one's a pretty good non-waterproof mascara that I've tried that's really good. It's also very nice for my under eyelash. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm very picky with my under eyelash mascaras, and this one's pretty good for that. I also really want to try the new Maybelline mascara that's been so hyped up everywhere. Maybelline, if you're watching this video, let me try your mascara because I really want to try it. This one has been really good. If you have tried the Maybelline one, please let me know and I would love to try it one day. The next product is actually this lipstick that I'm wearing today and I just feel like every single month that I put up this video, people are always asking what lip product I am wearing. This month, it is the new Kiss Kiss by Ghislaine and it is their Tender Matte collection. I already love their Kiss Kiss line, especially I think it was the satin collection last time. So this time it is their matte collection, as you guys can see from my lips. And the color that I'm wearing is 940 My Rouge. I really like this product because for a matte lipstick, it is super hydrating. It does not stain on my teeth. I tried another one by another brand that actually stained my teeth a lot. Like every time I talked, I would like look in the mirror and I would see that 
chunky lipstick got on my teeth. This one does not do that, so that's what I really like about it. There are a bunch of different colors. You obviously don't have to get this one. It's just the one that I'm wearing. And I also like how it blends easily. Since it's such a deep color, you're not seeing the red and then like my pale color on the very inside. So it blends nicely like that as well. And so far, it's been pretty long lasting. I just really, really like this product. And the packaging is also really, really cute. If you guys are looking for a new matte lipstick, I prefer this one. And also, I just want to mention that for matte, I don't usually like liquid lipsticks. I think there are very, very few liquid lipsticks that I like that are matte. One is just the Armani Lip Maester, which I've talked about a million times. That's why I always go for matte lipsticks, but this is one of the matte lipsticks that have been very, very good in performance. Definitely check that one out. The last beauty product I'm going to go through is actually Glamnetics. So they didn't send this to me. I actually bought it myself because I kept on seeing the ads for it. So I was like, you know what? Why not support a female owned brand and see what the hype is all about? If you guys have seen my videos before, I have tried magnetic lashes before, just not Glamnetic. This is my first time trying Glamnetic. And the one eyelash that I've been wearing that everyone's been asking about, I'm not wearing it today. I am still wearing Glamnetics, but not this one. The one that I always get questions about is the Lux Lash. Guys, this is the name of the product, okay? Because everyone's literally asked me a million times. So this one's really, really intense. If you look at it, it's actually super, super intense. I'll leave a picture of me wearing it. I don't know. It's kind of a lot in person. If you see me in person, you might be like, damn, is this girl trying to go to Las Vegas or something like that? I think I just like to wear it because it looks really good on camera and I'm on camera a lot either for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. For that reason, it's very suitable. I just wanted to have this forewarning because my parents who see me in person, they're like, oh my God, that's a lot. So I don't want you guys to buy this lash and be like, why does it look so good? But it doesn't look good on me. One factor, it might be just because of the pictures. In person, it looks really dramatic. It's a very good like picture lash, but you know what I mean? It's not like natural or anything. The other thing I wanted to talk about is their eyeliner. I find that their eyeliner is better than most of the, not most, because I've literally only tried one other eyeliner, but their eyeliner is definitely a lot better than the other one that I've tried. Even if you are going to get Glamnetic, this one is definitely worth the purchase. I'm going to do another extensive video just on false lashes, magnetic lashes, like a full on review because I have a whole rant about everything. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to rant about it here. Make sure you guys are subscribed, like I said, and turn on your bell because that video, I don't think you want to miss it because it's actually a very extensive and informative review. But anyway, that's pretty much it on the whole beauty end. I have a few like home stuff that I really want to share with you. So the first product is actually a swell bottle. And I really wanted to talk about this because I asked my brother to get me this for Christmas and he even got one with my name on it, like literally first and last name. So you can't fucking steal my bottle because my first and last name are on here. The reason why I love this product is because I have small bottles, okay? But like, it's like your classic water bottle with the opening being this small. But I really wanted the big size because I actually use this as my everyday house cup. I don't know if it's because I'm Asian or I'm getting old or both. I drink warm water now and I can't be bothered with cold water. I don't even want hot water. I want warm water. I feel like such a freaking grandma, but this product has allowed me to drink warm water at home at all times. And I would go to bed drinking warm water, wake up and the water is still freaking warm. This can also hold like hot or cold stuff for a long period of time. And I'm sure you guys have all heard the Swell Bottle. This input isn't really about the brand. It's more about the way I use it because if you are also a grandmother like me or like warm water, I highly suggest investing in the bigger, I guess like mouth opening cup size. I don't know what this is called. Also use it around the house because this is just easier to drink than the regular water bottles. There's that. So the last two products are actually from Bath and Body Works. The first one is actually more of the scent that I'm recommending. The scent is called Champagne pain toast. So you can get this in like a hand wash version. You can also get it in antibacterial soap thing or whatever. This scent, let me tell you, let me tell you, this scent is not just good for everybody. And every single person has complimented me on this scent. Like whether they come to my house and use my soap or when I use it as my hand sanitizer, people are always complimenting when I use this particular scent. I highly recommend keeping your eyes peeled and at least get the hand sanitizer because I've also been on a couple of dates and the 
guys are just like obsessed with the scent. Really, this is a man catcher. I'm just kidding. It seems really extreme, but just get the scent. Okay, that's all I have to say. The second thing I wanted to say was I also have been really enjoying their hand sanitizers. The size is just perfect. My one complaint is that they don't have a freaking recycling program. Like after I use this, why can't I go back to your store and like deposit this? Or why don't you make the cap openable so I can refill it or something? I do like it and their scents are all really amazing. And another scent I really like, which is also actually if you want to gift it for your brother, dad, boyfriend, husband, whatever it is. Fresh water is a really great man scent. Okay, not man, gender neutral. Okay, gender neutral. It's not like champagne toast, okay? Champagne toast is like very feminine. Fresh water is very gender neutral. They almost advertise it for men. So if you're thinking of getting like a scent for your man's bathroom or hand sanitizer or whatever, I would recommend this one. So this entire bottle was used up by Moa. Okay, not nobody else, not no man. By me. I really, really like the scent. Maybe this makes me smell like a man, but I don't know. I don't even care. It just smells really good. So that is pretty much the last recommendation that I have for you guys. I don't know why this video has turned into kind of a mess and I'm just kind of going like a little wild. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, please like this video, leave a comment if you will. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And lastly, check out our podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.